Andrew Tate. Now I'm sure you've seen a lot over the news these past months and probably years regarding a gentleman known as Andrew Tate. Now I didn't know if you know this about me but I'm actually very tight with Top G and I've managed to secure a telephone call directly to him in his cell and I will be sharing that later. Harrison was my number one Top G look I ain't got long in this Albanian prison but I want you to know I will get out. Whatever you think about him he's clearly made an impression on the internet he has a lot of opinions on uh, women and uh, life and what you should be doing he says the only way you can basically have a good life is if you have loads of lambos which i couldn't agree more i personally this morning took one lambo to work left it there and then took the one i drove yesterday back one's pink one's orange it's pretty rad but as you can see here andrew tate charged with rape and human trafficking now he's not got caught downloading some illegal porn or he's not been exposed for being a racist quite a lot more serious depending what side of the fence you sit on but he has been charged in romania with rape human trafficking and forming an organized crime group to sexually exploit women now that is quite a mouthful but i feel like it's going to be more of a mouthful for him when he has to go to court so if you don't know what happens now they have six days to inspect the case before it gets sent to trial so basically they clearly must have a shit ton of evidence on this bloke in order to feel it's necessary to take him to court now he was in prison for a number of months in Romania so no matter what your opinion of prison is probably like imagine what one in Romania is like also his brother has also been caught Tristan's clearly involved or you know maybe what he said was right I don't know you know maybe we are stuck in a matrix but today I just wanted to have a, a, a quick look into this and I want you guys to actually understand I I've been managed to get hold of Andrew. Me and him are actually really good friends. We have a uh, WhatsApp group. Me, him, and his brother. Now, uh, they called it Cobra King, so take that how you want. Uh, he actually gave me the money to buy a Lamborghini in the first place, uh, which I don't know if I should tell you guys, but, you know, I, I, I appreciate the money. Uh, I don't have it anymore, and I'm still living in my mum's basement, but that's not the point. I still have two Lamborghinis, which I think is more than you have. Now, I just wanted to play a few of Andrew's opinions for you and videos that got him viral. Now, just to sum it up, this guy is not a politician, but the amount of bullshit he spews, you would think he was. He, he's not very probably well educated either. He's a, an MMA fighter, so you can only imagine what the insides of his brain look like as well. But look, I'm all about Top G, so I, I just want to show you some of his uh, his viewpoint. And look, uh, life for a man is harder than life for a woman. We need to have a lot of shit to be an important man. To be a woman, you need makeup. If you're truly beautiful, you don't need anything else. I've been on boats in Dubai with 19 year old Moldovan girls. The guy who got that boat needed a hundred million dollars. That bitch, makeup, same boat. That's how hard it is. Look at a game of chess. The king moves one square at a time. What does the queen do? Zips here, zips there. Easy for a chick, right? If you're the kind of- And look, uh, I don't wanna judge Andrew cause I'm sure he's a, a great guy. Like I said, he gave me a lot of money to buy a, a couple of Lamborghinis, but he, 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 to me, he's speaking like a man who has no hair. Uh, I mean, yes, he has a lot of money, but he's also not the best looking. Now I, you know, I look like the bottom of your shoe after you've accidentally stamped on a piece of shit. However, looking like that, I can also point out someone else who is of similar complexion. Now it's not a problem. As he said, men have it far worse. Clearly. I mean, women, what, what do they have to do? Put it with uh, sexism, put up with giving birth, light work, keeping the population running, put up with men you know what i mean that's easy shit but us men we gotta go to work drink beer support teams i think no one gives that enough do you know what it's like supporting a, a football team or supporting a basketball team it's hard work it's hard work it can be really quite tedious and damaging on the soul a person who feels like they need therapy you're useless because in the harshest realities of this cold world there are people in syria whose entire families have been blown to fuck who are still getting up every day, making fucking bread and selling it on the streets so they have enough money to buy a new pair of sandals sometime next year. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what I mean though? He, he's got a good point. If the bros out in Syria don't have enough money for sandals, they're gonna have to walk on their bare feet. Imagine their brothers, their family, they're all dead, but at least they can die knowing their family have a pair of fresh sandals coming in next year through whatever their version of Amazon is. Money never sleeps. Wise words from this man. That's true. Why is it not universal across the human condition? Why are some countries more depressed than others? Mm. Explain why some countries have no depression and some countries have a bunch of depression. Maybe because in some countries all we do is talk about depression and fucking promote it. Bam. And in some countries we don't. The reason that depression is promoted is because it allows you to become ultimately selfish, live inside of your mind. Look. 
this is this uh, I think is probably his most outlandish opinion. I think depression probably exists. I don't know. I I have this slight hunch somewhere. Depression probably exists where in countries there there's more money if anything so his whole point of wanting money is completely bullshit so it's simply because countries you know like in africa they, they the, the idea of suicide to them is so weird they don't understand it because they don't see the outside world they don't understand this type of stuff just lost my father about to lose my mother soon from also i didn't quite realize they they actually like sound like clones like they look you know they sound like the same person i'd actually like to see a picture of their mother just to confirm she exists and they weren't made in a test tube but look I promised you my interview with Andrew himself. Now, I just want to thank Andrew for getting on the phone with me. He uh, it, it took a bit of convincing. Obviously, he's been arrested, but, you know, I'm one of his top Gs, as he calls me. And uh, he, he immediately picked up the phone to give me a a, uh, a good... He immediately picked up the phone to give me his opinion and his status currently. So, uh, let's, let's go to Andrew. Top G, is that you? It's uh, Harrison. How are you? Harrison was my number one top G. Look, I ain't got long in this Albanian prison, but I want you to know I will get out. Even if they prove it, I am innocent. Look after your Lamborghini. I will. Thank you so much for that. Don't worry. I can't quite afford any petrol for it just yet, but I will get that fueled up soon. No worries, Top G. I understand times are tough as soon as I'm out. Fuel's on me. Best believe. In the meantime, stay frosty. They are targeting all the Top G and remember you the top is G. Andrew, you're making me blush. Thank you so much. How long do you think you'll be stuck in there? If I'm honest, Top G, if they find me guilty, this could be the last time we speak as I am guilty as fuck, but just don't tell on me, please. I'm gonna have to go. The warden is doing his daily boomings and all new inmates get a double dose speak soon. Andrew? Andrew, have you gone? I think I think we've lost him, guys. Uh, he must not get along. Uh, yeah, quite worrying things to hear. Look, if you enjoyed this exclusive uh, on my channel, it has his mem. Don't forget, share with your friends. This this is a real eye opener here. He looks like he could be in trouble here. Let me guys know what you guys thought. Uh, sorry, it didn't last too long, but you know what it's like in them Turkish prisons. It's it's a dangerous place to be. Look after yourself, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.